Hi friends, Daniel here. Welcome to Photography and Electronics. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well what on earth does photography have to do with science? I mean it's like totally different. Well I have a very broad definition of science. My definition of science is organized knowledge. So I've been taking a lot of time to develop really interesting and unique courses for you so that you can become more well-rounded and more creative in the future. I really believe that the more inputs you have and the more experiences you gain in elementary and middle school will help you to become more well-rounded, more creative, and much more of a divergent thinker. You never know where this will take you. You may be able to connect with more people and you may be able to come up with really interesting ideas or maybe even invent something really helpful to a lot of people. So if you've ever been around an interesting person, chances are that person is interesting because they know a lot of interesting things and they do a lot of interesting things and they read a lot of interesting things. So I want you to become interesting. I want you to maximize your time and your experiences while you're in elementary and middle school. All right, so you're going to learn about photography and electronics. You're going to learn how to maximize your manual controls on your camera. Ooh, that may sound a little bit intimidating to some of you. Most people, when they pick up a camera, they're using the automatic settings. And that's okay because a lot of cameras are very sophisticated, so cameras can do a pretty decent job. But if you want to maximize your photos, if you want to take the best photos possible, then you really do need to learn the manual controls. You got to realize that your brain is a lot smarter than your camera. So by learning how to use your controls, you can do more creative things with your camera. So you're going to learn about your aperture, your shutter speed, your ISO, and how all of these influence each other and how you can adjust your exposure as a result of using these settings. You're going to learn about camera focus. You're going to learn about light and flash photography. And you're also going to learn about how cameras work. And you're also going to make two cameras. This is one of them. This is a pinhole camera. So when you open the shutter, light enters through a pinhole. Now you may be thinking, well, this just looks like a box, Daniel, a black box. Well, this is kind of like the old cameras in the 1800s. They were dark chambers, dark boxes. So light would enter through a hole and then the film on this side would be exposed by the light and you can create a photo. So this is a really cool simple camera that you're going to make and you're also going to make a lens camera. All right, well I really hope that your experiences are deepened as a result of photography and electronics and I hope that you become a much more divergent and creative thinker as a result. I'll see you soon.